it says it is available which means we have successfully created our RDS instance using Terraform so I'm going to paste this code in the description hello and welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to see how to create an AWS RDS database instance in Terraform so RDS is a database service in AWS that lets you create MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, Microsoft SQL so all the relational databases can be created using RDS in this video we are going to see how we can create a RDS database using the Terraform tool so before we actually do that I want you to have a good understanding of how it is done in the console so what different parameters do you have to enter in the console so you need to choose what engine do you want what engine version should be added then you need to know the database identifier you have to enter the username and the password you also need to enter what instance class or the instance size you want for example it should it be m5 8, 8 large or t2 micro or t3 micro uh, how much storage do you want so all of this need to be in when you create the RDS in Terraform so if you want to get help you can always refer the Terraform documentation which is AWS RDS Terraform I think is going to be the documentation by Terraform itself I'm going to paste this link in the description so let's go and start creating the database in so I'm going to create a new file and name is name it rds.tf in this file we are going to create our first create our RDS database using Terraform so to create RDS database we have to create a resource block resource is going to be AWS underscore DB underscore instance and I'm going to name this as my RDS you can name it anything you want and this is the name that Terraform refers to so it can be anything so inside this I can I have to pass in all the parameters that you have seen in the console so I can pass in the engine which is going to be let's say I want to launch MySQL so I can select MySQL then I also have to pass in the engine version so I can type in engine underscore version 27 so I am selecting 8.0.27 then after I do that I am going to add how much storage do I want so allocated storage allocated underscore storage so by default you get 20 GB whenever you use the free tier so I am going to select that and you have three storage option general purpose which is GP2 provisioned IOPS and magnetic so I am going to use the general purpose one so which is GP2 to select the storage type storage underscore type is going to be gp2 so I have my engine version engine allocated storage storage type I'm going to add identifier which is going to be the name of my mysql database so my db then I'm going to add the username so the username for the user that wants to log into the database so I'm going to pass in as admin I also have to pass in the password so it's going to be password and make sure you are adding password without any at the rate symbol uh, because that is not allowed so I'm going to pass in as password exclamation mark one two three you obviously you have to store a strong password not this one uh, because you don't want your database to be hacked then if you want it to be publicly accessible all over the internet you can make it publicly underscore accessible and by default it is false if you make it publicly accessible is equal to true which means you can then connect to your database using any server if you have the username and password and the endpoint to it you can see boolean to control if the instance is publicly accessible or not the default is false so if you do, if you want it to be uh, private you can skip this if you want it to be public you can add this so just for your information and last thing that you need to enable is going to be skip final snapshot so if you have not enabled this if you delete your instance every time you delete your RDS instance it is going to create a snapshot and snapshot is going to charge you money so if you don't want to create that you can enable this option which is skip final snapshot determines whether a final snapshot is created before the instance is deleted 
if true is specified no snapshot is created if false is specified a snapshot is created before the instance is deleted using the value so default is false make sure you make it true if you don't want to create unnecessary snapshot then i'm going to add a tag so tags equal to name is equal to let's say uh, my rds db and i'm going to save this now i have created the code to launch an rds database which is mysql database 8027 version allocated storage of 20 gb storage type gp2 identifier my db this is the username password it is publicly accessible and i am skipping the final snapshot so the first command that i need to run is going to be terraform init make sure you run this command whenever you start working with your terraform code for the first time so i'm running this command which is installing all the provider plugin if you want to learn more about terraform i have already created videos you can check out my channel and please like this video i want you to like this video right now and let me know if you have created a rds database with this code so i'm going to run the terraform plan to see what is actually going to be created so when i run terraform plan it shows me an error which says instance class is required but no definition was found obviously we have to enter the instance class i have totally skipped that so instance class is going to be the instance type which can be t2 micro or m5 large whatever you want so as this is for just tutorial basis i'm going to make it t2 so let make sure you are entering the correct name so you can go here and in here you can see db.t3.micro so it is db.t3.micro saving this and running the terraform plan again and now it will not show you any error it says one resource is going to be added and if i show you the plan clearly you can see uh, that the rds database with storage is 20 engine is mysql version is 8.0.27 and this is the instance class this is false performance inside it is publicly accessible and the name tag is this so i'm going to run terraform apply command so terraform apply hyphen auto hyphen approve and now it is going to start creating my rds instance which will take some time it takes uh, around five minutes or so so yeah this is you can see it's creating it is in creating state but it will take around five minutes to come to the available state so i'm going to pause my video and come back when this instance is ready all right so all right so now this instance has been created after four minutes and 12 seconds let's see in the console so if i refresh now it says it is available which means we have successfully created our rds instance using terraform so i'm going to paste this code in the description if you found this video helpful please like this video and subscribe to my channel i have seen people watch my video but have not subscribed 90 percent of my viewers have not subscribed so please subscribe to my channel for more cloud and devops videos thank you